Hello, Pastor Julius here yeah, bringing you greetings from Evine in the southern part of California, United States. I bring you greetings from the Most High God. I bring you greetings from the heart of God, wherever you are listening to me. What time of, whatever the time of day you are listening to me. I'm thinking particularly of those of you who are right here in California. Those of you on the East Coast, the Midwestern United States. Those of you in Australia, increasingly, my audience is growing in Australia. I bring greetings to the people of Australia, the people of the United Kingdom, of Europe, in South Africa, in Cameroon, and especially for my friends, personal friends who are incarcerated in the dungeons of La Republic prison cells. I bring you greetings from God's temple, from God's throne, throne room. I don't know what you're going through right now. Some of you are mourning the loss of a loved one. Some of you are grieving some circumstance that has been going on for a long while. Some of you have lost your businesses and your plans, your projects have been stored for a long while. Some of you have been expecting the outcome of major decisions, whether it's immigration, whether it's a project or that you have put a proposal for a long time and uh, there is not quite much that is happening. I, I've come this day with a word of encouragement to you listening to me right now. I bring a word of encouragement to you. Do not give up on your faith. I want to encourage you to be steadfast, to be steadfast, unwavering. Continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to trust in the Lord for whatever you are believing Him for. Continue to trust in Him because He is faithful. He is faithful. And I want to encourage you, uh, if you are tempted to give up, it is okay. It is okay to feel like that. It's okay to be discouraged at times. It's okay to feel frustrated at times. It's okay to question whether there is a God. I've been there before. I've been there before. Sometime in my life, I've asked God, where are you? And it's not once, more, at least, more than once. I've asked God, where are you? Prove your existence to me. It's okay to be in those low moments. But for sure, you'll get an answer from him. God is not intimidated by your questions. He's not intimidated by your doubts. He wants you to ask those questions. He wants you to ask. Provided you're asking him, not asking people. Okay. Ask him the hard questions and he'll answer you. Talk to him. When you feel discouraged, talk to God. When you feel like you want to give up, talk to him. Talk to him. Don't go around talking to other people. Go around posting on Facebook. And ask, seeking for encouragement from outside. Come to him. He lives in you. Close the door. Shut the door of your home. Stay alone. Find a moment alone to talk to God. Don't just sit quiet and internalize. Vocalize. Talk to him. Talk to God. Ask him the hard questions. Ask him, Lord, where is my job? I've been praying for this. I've been investing in this. 
I've been training for this. I've been preparing for this. Where is my job? Ask him the question. Ask him, where is my spouse? Where is the partner I've been looking for? I've been praying for, waiting for. Where is him? Where is her? Ask him the questions. Ask him what is happening to the health of my spouse the health of my child, the health of my sibling, the health of my family member. Ask him the questions. Ask him the questions. He holds the answer to everything. He holds the keys to everything. He can open every door, any door. When men say it's impossible, it is possible with him. He's a god of impossibilities. He makes the impossible possible. Ask him the questions, friends. Quit wandering around and complaining and whining and being frustrated. Ask God your question. What is it that you want? Ask him the question today. That's what he has told me to come encourage you. He has told me to come encourage you listening to me right now. That he's, wasting, he's waiting for your hard questions. Ask him the hard questions. Lord, where is happening? What is happening to my finances? What is happening to my health? What is happening to my business? What is happening to my relationship? What is happening to whatever it is? Ask him the questions. He wants to answer you. He wants to answer you. Ask him the questions. So if you wonder the title of my message, ask him the questions. That's the title of my message to you today. And for those of you who have already given up, may I encourage you to ask him the questions about what you gave up on. Ask him the questions. Oh, how the Spirit of God wants to answer somebody's questions. But that way, that have never been asked. You are not a robot. God is not in the business of going about doing things that you never asked for. He's not in the business of going about answering requests that you, 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 are not, you have not asked for, you are not even interested in. He's not in the business of, of reviving projects that you have forgotten and you have, you, have, you, have, you have given up on out of doubt and fear and intimidation. He's in the business of answering those who ask. He's in the business of responding to those who demand and ask the hard questions. He's in the business of meeting the needs of those who come before him and challenge him with the hard questions. That's the God that is speaking to you today. He wants you to ask the hard questions. Anyone listening to me right now, I don't care what it is. I don't care what the scientists, the doctors, or the experts have told you about what you are looking for or what you have been praying for or what you've been believing for. Ask God today and you will get an answer from him because he is the king of kings, the lord of lords. He is the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is the one that makes the last decision until he says something nothing has been said. Ask him the questions. I hope I've encouraged someone today. I hope someone is coming, is, is been rekindled in their spirit to believe God for what they have, they have been led to be discouraged about, to believe God about something that you are almost thinking is over, is past, I should move on. I hope you have been encouraged today. And even those of you who the courts have said something about your future, that you're never going to come out of that jail, that prison jail. A sentence has been decreed. I don't care which high court, what Supreme Court of any place on earth that has made that decision. God in heaven can open the door of any prison cell to get you out. And he doesn't even have to open the door. Remember what he did to Peter. The angel came and took him by hand and let him out of the prison cell. Yes. Ask the hard questions. What a mighty God we serve, right? What a God, what a gracious God who wants us to ask questions. Who wants us to come to him with our most daunting challenges, with our most, uh, with, 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 with all our burdens. He said, cast all your cares upon me because he cares for you. Cast all your cares. 
friends, there's no longer any need to, to carry all your burdens with you. There's no longer any need for you to, 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 to find sleepless nights. You need to just ask that question. Ask the question to him who has all the power. And I want to pray for you right now. Lord, I pray that everyone who has listened to the sound of my voice, regardless of where they are in the world, regardless of what time they are listening to me, regardless of whatever is going on in their life, that they will be emboldened by the sound of my voice to ask you the question. You who has the power to release an anointing and grace to meet them at their point of need. I thank you for answers. I thank you for breakthroughs. I pray. I thank you for all your mighty intervention in the lives of the those who listen to you and have heard the voice that challenged them to bring their questions to you. And I thank you for great answers. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you, Lord, for your love for your people, that your love that is unfailing, unchanging, unconditional, and eternal. Lord bless your people mightily. And until again we see. Stay basking in the glory and in the blessings and in his presence. God bless you. It was nice speaking to you. Until next time, shalom.